All right, uh, this is uh, a video about the answers for your homework. So uh, I've got the answers here already. So I'm going to just go through them with you. Of course, your own worksheet is uh, blank. It doesn't have the answers, all right? So basically, uh, exercise five, you're going to underline the T, bracket the Q, circle any special features, write E or O, expository or opinion beside each question and you can also talk uh, uh, you also want to fill out the number of questions right so one is already done for you so two um t that will be the first part in some countries the average weight of people is increasing and their levels of health and fitness are decreasing so that will be the t for the q what do you think are the causes of these problems and what measures could be taken to solve them? All right, so basically you have two questions, this and this, and in terms of the questions, are there E or O, both of them are expository. There's no position to be taken. Um, then we go to uh, the circle, the SF, the special features, right? So in this question, make sure you are not just focusing on one thing, because it mentions the average weight of people is increasing. So you, here you're talking about the weight, and then their levels of health and fitness are decreasing. Okay, so weight, health, and fitness. On one, uh, in one sense, you can argue that health and fitness are both different. All right, health is more to do with well how healthy you are. Fitness is basically your fitness level. Um, you could be very healthy but not fit. You could be very fit but not healthy. Okay, a lot of people are very fit. They uh, run marathons, but then they also drop dead in a marathon because there's something wrong with their heart or whatever it may be. Okay, so um, just try to men just take note of a question like this. You should mention. I would say try to mention three things. Okay, at least health, fitness, and yeah, and also talk about the weight. Right, the next question, sometimes tourists may damage tourist sites, that is the uh, T. And the question, the questions are, what are some of the negative effects of this and suggest some solutions to this problem? Okay, so both of these uh, questions, the Q and, so there are two Qs, number of questions two, and both of them are expository, okay, E, E no position to be taken. Four, today more people are traveling than ever before. That's the T. Why is this the case? The E, uh, the Q, what are the benefits of traveling for the traveler? Another Q. Okay, so there are two questions and both of them are E also. All right. Number five, every year several languages die out. Some people think that this is not important because life will be easier if there are fewer languages in the world. That is the, uh, that's the T. Just be careful guys, uh, where this is actually an opinion question, um, comes under the third kind of question I mentioned to you. I categorized this as uh, the third, no, the second question, okay? And, this part, very often in, let me just show you all this, this is the homework I, get, I gave you without the answers, okay? All this coincides with the questions here, okay? So for example, this is 1A, this is um, one. 1A, 1B, 1B, okay, the causes and solutions, the problems and solutions, and then this is um, the mixed 1C, okay, so this is the opinion, the one that we're doing right now is the opinion, okay, now, very often, let's just go back to the answers again, very often, not always, but very often the opinion, you start with 
some kind of statement, then this is the opinion. Okay. So when I mention uh, about paraphrasing the opinion, it is in your uh, notes and phrases. This is the opinion that you want to paraphrase. Not this is not an opinion. Every year, several languages die out. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. But some people think. Okay. So you have to understand the difference. The difference between an opinion and a fact. Okay. Because this is something you accept as a fact. This is something that some people believe is not. It's just an opinion. It's not true. Okay. Some people believe uh, this to be so. All right. So anyway. Um, this whole two sentences, these two sentences are the T, and then this is the question. To what extent do you agree or disagree? And um, there's only one question in a, in, in a sense. Say, to what extent do you agree or disagree? And this is an opinion question. All right. Six. Due to science and technology, due to science and technology, lifestyles of people across the world are becoming more and more similar. That's the T. Now this is a fact, all right? Because here we are going to this already. This is the second kind of opinion. The question states a fact, then asks you if you think this is positive or negative. Just now it was the question states an opinion. This is the opinion at least. This is the main opinion. Of course, this is a fact. Uh, this sentence is a fact, but this is the main opinion. And then it asks you, do you agree or disagree? Whereas right now we're doing this question. This, the question states a fact. This is a fact. And then they ask you, is this a positive or negative development, which is actually asking for your opinion. All right. When you say it's positive or negative, that's an opinion. All right. Um, so this whole part is the, uh, the topic. Okay. And this is the question. There's only one question. And this is an opinion question. Okay. Remember, um, under the opinion number two, There are two kinds of questions. Two A, two the do you agree or disagree? Two B is more of like is this positive or negative, All right? And for this, you could say that there is uh, there are two special features here. Do talk about science and technology, just not don't just focus on one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Some people think number seven. Some people think that parents should teach children how to be good members of society. Others, however, believe that school is the place to learn this. This is the whole topic. And then the question is discuss both these views and give your own opinion. All right, uh, this is the question, and this is of course an opinion question. Now, I mean it's debatable if you want to say that this part is a expository. Um, you could if you want to say this is one question, and this is another question. I mean you could. That's why I put one two. It's really up to you how you see it, but it doesn't really matter. Just um, understand the question and understand how to approach it and I've given you the way to approach it in your notes and phrases the 18 pages which I gave you okay which are which con contains very valuable information okay so please make use of that um, next some experts believe that it is better for children to begin learning a foreign language at primary school rather than secondary school this is the T this is a Q to the advantages of this outweigh the disadvantages this is of course Different from this, this is just discuss the advantages and disadvantages. You have E here, um, whereas you're not asked to take a position. Here, you are clearly asked to take a position. Do the advantages outweigh? Outweigh meaning it's more important or more significant. So the question is, do you think the advantages are more significant than the disadvantages or the other way around? So you have to take a position. Okay, so this is an opinion question. Okay, just take note of the difference. And how many questions are there? I mean, again, it depends on how you see. You could say you could see as oh, this is just one question, or you could see as this is two questions because you have to mention both advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so it's not so important how you see it, but you the the, the most important thing is understanding how to address the question. Nine. Some people prefer to live in a house, while others feel that there are more advantages to living in an apartment. Are there more advantages than disadvantages? Now, this is exactly the same thing. This is the academic kind of question. This is a general training kind of question. So anyway, uh, this is the T. This is the Q. This is an opinion question. Okay, and uh, you again, you could depends on how you see it. Okay, one or two. All right. Um, in most parts of the world. 
people are living longer than before. What are the reasons for this? Is this a positive or negative development? This is a, a 4B under, okay, 4B. Is this a positive or negative development? Um, the question, the Q, there are two. Sorry, that was the topic. This is the T, the, the topic. This There are two Qs, two questions. One, two. Okay, so it's two. The first one is expository. doesn't ask you to take a position. The second one is... Um, it's opinion. Is this a positive or negative development? Okay. So I mentioned to you for this kind of question here, you pretty much have uh, two kinds of in this category because it's one ex expository. This category, there's one expository. There are two questions, one expository and one opinion. And then opinion, you could ask, is this a positive or negative development or do you agree or disagree? Okay. But this is more common, which is this question is more common. In, if you have a, if you have two questions, one expository and one opinion, the the more common opinion kind of question that will come out is this: is this a positive or negative development, right? Um, but you could also come out, um, you could also encounter a question like this: increasing the price of petrol is the best way to solve growing traffic and pollution problems. So this is the T. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Now this is the first question. And the second question, what other measures do you think might be effective? So this is an O, all right, uh, opinion. This is an expository. And there are, of course, two questions. And the uh, special features, traffic and pollution problems. OK? All right, uh, this exercise is really to write the number of paragraphs for each of these, for the different kinds of questions. Okay, as you. As you can see, uh, all these questions are questions that we've already gone through here before. And the questions that um, they are here, okay, so they're divided and categorized into one, two, three, four, and it's subcategories. So, right now, uh, which questions would require a four paragraph answer? Which questions would require a five paragraph answer, okay? And uh, you ought to know that. You know, most of the questions could be answered by a four paragraph uh, essay, but two questions could be answered by a five paragraph essay, okay? So for the four paragraph essays, you know, you have two body paragraphs. So basically one body paragraph is addressing something. For example, this is a, your first body paragraph addresses this, your second body paragraph address, addresses this, for this one, Another one, the mixed question, you have two questions normally. So this is address in the first body. This is address in the second body. Um, sorry, the mix is here. This is address in the first body. This is address in the second body. Okay. Then you have, uh, let's go to the discussion first. Then we have discussion, uh, discuss both these views and give your own opinion. So we will discuss the first view the view you disagree, okay, these are all based, go, go back to my, the, the uh, notes and phrases I gave you, the very detailed ones, the 18 pages, okay, you would see how I, you know, what I write in the first body paragraph, what I write in the second body paragraph, but basically, the first body paragraph, you will address the view you disagree with, the second body paragraph, you address your uh, view, all right, so this is also four, and then here, uh, two part, you have one expository and one opinion. The difference is this one, for this question, both the questions are expository, but this is one E and one expository and one opinion question. Okay, of course, in the first body paragraph, you, you will address one of the parts. The second body paragraph, you address the other part. Okay, so that's four. Those are the questions that require a four paragraph essay response. Now you go to the five paragraphs. There are only two kinds of questions. Firstly is the opinion. Opinions where you take a strong position, you agree or you disagree, or you say this is positive or you say this is negative. Uh, you take a strong position as I've taught you. Um, and then you you just have three body paragraphs for three points. Okay? For three points. So that's the reason why you have you have uh, five body uh, five paragraphs in total because you have three body paragraphs. First reason, second reason, third reason why you believe 
this is positive, why you believe this is negative, or why you agree, or why you disagree. Okay, so it will, you will have five um, body, uh, you will have five paragraphs in total. And for this, uh, advantages and disadvantages, okay, um, you will have five paragraphs because you also have three body paragraphs. Your first body paragraph, you will talk about the the side you consider weaker, whether if you say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, or if you say the advantages are more, there are more advantages than disadvantages, then the first body paragraph will talk about the, uh, the disadvantages, then you go to the advantages, two paragraphs uh, for two advantages. Okay, therefore, you have three body paragraphs, one disadvantage, two advantages, and in total five paragraphs. Okay, again, it really depends on uh, whether you say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, or if you if if uh, you say the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. Okay, so the weaker side will have one paragraph; the stronger side will have two. Therefore, you have three body paragraphs. Okay, so this is these are your answers. All right. All right. Let me go to the last activity right now. Um, this will consist of a number of essays, so what you have to do in addition to what we did before is to also mention the type of essay it is. So you're going to recognize what type of essay it is based on the categories here, and then um, you state the number of body paragraphs. Okay, so, um, okay. so let's go to, the first one's done for you, let's go to uh, the second one. Nowadays, scientists and tourists can travel. So this is the T, all right? This is the, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? All right, um, again, this is a advantages and disadvantages opinion. So this is actually 4A, okay, going back to this 4A, all right? And you do have some, the SF, scientists and tourists, make sure you, mention both, you address both, right? And how many questions? Uh, again, as I mentioned above, it's like if you want to see as one question or two questions, doesn't really matter, okay? And anyway, for this kind of essay, 4A, you are going to have how many body paragraphs? Three, not here is of course, um, here we put five because that is not the body paragraph, that's the total number of paragraphs as a whole, okay? But here, you have uh, two, uh, three body paragraphs because you're gonna have one of the weaker side and two body paragraphs on the stronger side, depending on whether you say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages or whatever, okay? Next, nowadays people are less likely to trust news agencies, that's the, the T. Why is this happening? One question. What qualities are necessary to become a journalist? Another question. So both of these are expository, okay? There's no position to be taken, and then what kind of question is this, okay? This is one C, is a mix, because a mix means any two kinds of expository questions uh, doesn't fall into the first two categories of advantages and disadvantages, causes and solutions, problems and solutions, okay? Because this question is, um, why is this happening? This is a cause. What qualities are necessary to become a good journalist? It's not a, it's not a solution, right? So it's just another question which is expository, so I put it under the mixed uh, category here, all right? Um, so uh, that will be one C, and they will have two body paragraphs, one addressing this, one addressing this. And of course, there are two questions here, one question, one question, all right? Um, in many countries, more and more people are competing for a place to study in universities. That's the T, why is this happening? What is this a positive or negative development? So here you have two uh, Qs, and this is an expository because why why is this happening is a cause, okay? Is this a positive or negative development? This is an opinion. So uh, here we have, um, this question is 4B1. This is a two part E and O, expository and opinion. And this is a first one because positive or negative. Okay, they ask you, is this a positive or negative development? Right, and you have two body paragraphs. One one body paragraph is going to address this. One body paragraph is going to address this. Okay. Next, schools have limited money to spend. Some people suggest money should be spent on good teachers, while others say it should be used for buying computer equipment. Right. So this will be your T. 
Q is discuss both these views and give your own opinion. This is of course an an uh, uh, opinion. If you want to say uh, expository and opinion, as I mentioned before, it, it doesn't really matter how you look at it as long as you know how to approach it, uh, how to write your answer, right? Um, so what type is it? Is three A? Okay, the discussion. Okay, and um, number of questions. As I said, you know, you you could look at it as as one or two. Number of body paragraphs two. Okay, and guys, if you have a lot of questions, how to approach this, how to approach that, actually, all you need to do is go to the notes and phrases, the eighteen pages of notes, which. Uh, you can go through and understand exactly because I, I created this, these notes um, and these are very detailed notes and some students have already gotten back to me and said, yeah, these are really detailed, okay? In fact, most, most of my students over the years have appreciated, uh, you know, this, these notes and actually I've been changing them, changing them, uh, editing them over many, many years to make it better um, and uh, to help the student better. To help the students better okay so uh, make sure you understand you know you use those notes you really go through those notes and until you really understand how to approach any question okay it's not really difficult to understand if you go through it a few times right so you don't need to ask me how to approach this I can tell you straight away if you really want to know uh, go to the 18 pages of notes go and find the question you are looking at then look at how the phrases and notes and, and the structure I've taught you how to do. And um, look at the at the right side, the example um, the example answers. Okay? You should if you if you go through all those notes in detail, you would have no problem answering almost you know, you probably wouldn't have any questions after going through those in detail. Okay. So make sure you go through these notes before asking me any questions, okay? Because it's, it should all be answered there. Right. Um, next, in some countries, fast food restaurants and supermarkets give money to schools to promote their products. This is the T, and is this a positive or negative development? This is the Q. This is uh, one question. Okay, and um, this is the SFs. Fast food restaurants and supermarkets. Make sure you address both. What kind of question is this? Is this a positive or negative development? This one. All right, and how many body paragraphs? Are there okay? This is the number of body paragraphs three. Okay, as I've mentioned before earlier, you will have three. Um, actually, sorry, not three. Yeah, yeah, three. Sorry, opinion questions. You all you always have three, right? You take a strong opinion, uh, uh, just one side, a complete opinion on one side. Uh, this is positive, and then you have you state three reasons, so you have three body paragraphs. Okay. Next, some experts claim that it is important to teach children the skill of handwriting. That's the T. This is the uh, Q. And this is, of course, just one question. This question is an opinion question. And this is 2A. Just now, this one was 2B. This is 2A. The, they ask you whether they agree or disagree. And um, uh, as mentioned, number of body paragraphs, just like this one three body paragraphs. Take a, a complete stand, either agree or disagree, and give three reasons. Each reason will be one body paragraph. And if you uh, remember, each each uh, reason should be backed up with about, um, should be supported by about three, three or four supporting sentences, okay? If you follow my formula and my structure. Next, as part of their education, many students work at a company for a, a short period of time without a salary. Are there more advantages than disadvantages? This is the Q. Sorry, this is the T. And this is the Q. Um, depends on how you look at it. One or two questions. Uh, this is definitely an opinion. This is the opinion of advantages questions. So this is here for A. Okay. And there are three body paragraphs, one for the weaker side, two, two body paragraphs for the stronger side. Okay, why do we have one and two? To make it very clear to the examiner that one side is stronger. You give two, you give two whatever, advantages or disadvantages, obviously that side is stronger. Okay, so it's answering the question 
in a sense, uh, are the advantages, do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages or are there more advantages than disadvantages, okay? So there's clearly two paragraphs for one side, one paragraph for the weaker side. Next, some people think that the minimum age limit for driving should be increased in order to make driving safer. That's the uh, key, uh, T. To what extent do you agree or disagree? What other steps can be taken to make driving safer? These are two questions. All right. What This one is an opinion. This one is an expository. Okay, so the question, so there are two questions. This is, uh, the question is 4B2. All right, to what extent you agree or disagree. Okay, this is the opinion then. So f this is expository 4B2. And how many body paragraphs? Two. One body paragraph addressing this, you take a strong position and you just, um, you take a strong position and you just mention two reasons. State your position and mention two reasons. And for this, you just mention two steps, right? Nowadays, a lot of people are able to do their work from home. That's the T, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this. So these are two advantages and disadvantages. Two questions. This is not the, don't get mixed up again, as I mentioned many times with this. This is the advantages and disadvantages opinion version. This is the advantages and disadvantages expository version. So you just have to discuss. So which kind of essay question is this? The 1A, okay? No opinion needed. Um, and there are, of course, two body paragraphs, one addressing the advantages, one addressing the disadvantages, all right? Uh, nowadays, the older people who need a job have to compete with younger people. What problems can this create? What are some solutions? So this is, uh, this is the T, this is the Q. There are two Qs. Both of them are expository. This is actually a problems and solutions. So it comes under 1B, okay, 1B. And of course, how you address it, you have two body paragraphs. First body paragraph addressing the problems. Second body paragraph addressing the solutions. <clears throat> Next. Some people say that history has nothing to teach us. Others, however, believe that to understand the present, we must learn from the past. This is the T. And then you'll discuss both these views and give your own opinion. Uh, this, as mentioned, you can look at this as two questions or one question. Uh, and this is there's basically the O element to this. What kind of question is this? The three, the third, three A. And how many body paragraphs? You have two. One, the first body paragraph uh, discussing the site you disagree with. The second body paragraph discussing the site you agree with, right? Next, nowadays, children play with computers during their leisure time instead of play sports outside. Um, T. <clears throat> Q. Why is this happening? Is this a positive or negative development? Um, why is this happening? It's E and this is an O. Why is this happening is a cause. And this is clearly an O, an opinion. Is this a positive or negative? So there are two questions. Which kind of um, question is this? This is positive or negative. You have a E and then an O. Okay. <clears throat> and the way you answer it is um, two body paragraphs. The first one addressing this. The second one addressing this where you take a stand, you, you have to take a stand whether it's positive or negative, either one, and then you give two reasons why it's positive or negative, okay? Um, next, the most important decision that a young person can make is to choose which career to pursue. So that's the T. To what extent do you agree or disagree the Q? This is an opinion question. You only have one question. And the kind of question is this, 2A. <clears throat> and this is wrong. This should be three. To what extent you agree or disagree, it's a three, okay? Because uh, how many paragraphs do you have? You are going to take a strong position, agree or disagree, a completely, a complete position. You completely agree, you completely disagree, 
and then you have three reasons each reason will be one paragraph so you have three body paragraphs okay and lastly many people are not as fit as active as they used to be and this affects them in the long term t q what are the reasons for this what could be done to solve this problem you have two questions here and both of them are expository this is actually a causes and solutions question which is a common question um, so it's 1b and the first body paragraph you address this the second body paragraph you address this okay so this is basically the end and make sure you understand the different kinds of questions and analyze the question um, yeah don't forget that this is the special features fit and active okay um, so yeah analyze the questions and if you're not sure how to answer them again go back to the notes and phrases that will solve all your you know answer all your questions okay because everything is laid out in detail there just you just have to study it all right